Hey, everybody. Hello. Today we are at Corley's Fried Memphis Style Chicken. We've been here a couple of times, and every time that we've come, it's been pretty good. And they've got some uh, pork chops on their menu. And I thought I would try them today just to kind of see. Now, I've never had these, but I have had the chicken. Greens. Those are really good. Yeast roll. Mac and cheese, and of course the yeast roll. And my favorite thing on their whole menu are these mashed potatoes and that gravy. Mm -mm -mm. I promise you, if uh, your mom was a, a southern cook like my mom was, that is that would make her proud. So we are going to sit down, enjoy. And see what we think about everything. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Hot buffalo. They have a sweet chili, and they have a cayenne pepper. Now I think that you can buy all these sauces here at the restaurant. Um, you know, if you find out that you enjoy them, then you would want to take some home. They have them to sell, and they've also got a free banana pudding on your next visit. So um, we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna give it a try and see if today is as good as the last time we were here. So, and we will let you know what we think about it again. <laughs> I think we're missing a sauce. I think we're supposed to have a honey, honey something. Oh, okay, well, we'll see if we can find it. And we'll be back. Oh, Big O found it. Honey Sriracha sauce. That will probably be one that he likes too. So, okay, guys, we'll be back to talk to you after we check out this food. By the way, here's our receipt. That's what it costs for us to eat, but we do have extra food. So, okay, folks, we're almost done. Um, they go pretty much polished off his chicken. I've done one of my pork chops. Of course, the yeast rolls. Macaroni and cheese is all gone, but we're still working on those mashed potatoes and the greens. So, so far, what's been your favorite sauce, honey? I think the honey sriracha sauce, the sweet chili is pretty good too, but sometimes like the bits of chili or garlic can get stuck and then it doesn't want to squeeze out. <laughs> you get that big gush. <laughs> right, if you won't. It's just, uh, stuff is stuck. You can kind of see that it's yeah. stuck in the stone. So yeah. I guess I'm just going to use more of the honey sriracha. I also like the, the hot buffalo was pretty good. Um, yeah. The cayenne pepper sauce was just like any kind of cayenne pepper sauce you might get over the counter, you know, it's Louisiana style hot pepper sauce. Mm -hmm. So nothing special. Okay. I really like that honey sriracha. So, okay. It looks good. Let me see the inside of it. This oh, is yeah. the chicken breast. That deep dark crust on there. The, the other half of it. Oh yeah. It's pretty good. It does. It looks good. But I'm really glad I went with the pork chops today just to try them. Yeah, they're so, pretty tender, I thought. Very tender. Okay. We'll uh, give you a complete update when we're done. This honey. Oh, it's pretty dark. That is pretty dark honey. So you know that is going to be so good. But it's that brand. Ellington? Yep. So it looks like it's not a cheap brand, so I bet it's going to be good, babe. Hey, everybody. We're home. Um, after we left the restaurant, we went to Aldi's and got a few things. Got some bargains. Got our hunt on. <laughs> got my lunch stuff ready. Yep. A lot of salad stuff. Got, got a lot of, of stuff for, for oh, oh, that he likes to have salads. And Aldi's has got a pretty good deal on their vegetables. And usually yeah. they're, they're not, 
bad. I mean, they're, everything's really fresh. I've never, I don't think we've ever gotten anything bad there. I mean, there have been a few times where the freshness of the stuff wasn't where we wanted it to be. And then maybe we went to Walmart or something, got stuff there instead. But typically, like, their lettuce is in good shape. You don't have a lot of brown spots on the bottom or it doesn't look like the leaves are half wielded on the outside so and no, i mean that's one of the big components of a salad is the lettuce part yeah so. yeah and they had some really nice lettuce today but he just stuck with the old old regular <laughs> well to, to me like I, I know other types of lettuce have more nutritional value you know the darker the greens but i still have some spinach that i mix in with the iceberg lettuce but the crunchy crisp snap of the iceberg lettuce when you're chewing it to it's me hard is, to be. is part part of what makes the salad well when we go out for like dinner and if i decide i'm gonna have a salad i don't want that romaine i'm not a romaine lettuce person I, I don't mind romaine or the other stuff, but sometimes the other types of lettuce can have a bitterness to it. Mm -hmm. And to me, that just throws off the whole experience. But back to uh, Corley's, uh, I really enjoy their chicken. It's got a darker color on the outside, mm -hmm. but it's not overdone. Yeah. Um, and to me, I, I wonder if maybe they don't use just a little bit more paprika or something in their seasoning and it makes the color darker. I'm going to say probably. Because it was still pretty juicy. Several of the pieces were so juicy I had to, to get a napkin. Yeah. And it was it was really good. And oh, no. I like that there's not a thick crust. No, so I'm getting more stay. of the chicken flavor. We're, we're talking about where we ate today. That's what we're doing right now. There's little E. She don't want to be not in. She doesn't yeah, she, like to not be in the video. So. She does not want to miss out. Yeah. Um, which she decided to stay home with her mom today. She didn't want to go shopping without her mom. And her mom didn't want to come today. So um, she's missing out on this part of it. But we'll have another video shortly that will have that. And uh, what? Mama's here. Now I want to be on I really like the, the turnip greens. There's a little bit of a sweetness to it that, like, if I'm making greens at home, I typically don't add any sugar yeah. to it, but it was still really good. Uh, I did like the macaroni and cheese, uh, but you know, I know Kathy didn't like it. Um, and we didn't get any desserts today. No. Um, but it was, it was all pretty good. Really um, good. I want to add that the honey that was really dark in color, I don't know if they cooked it or something before they package it, but it wasn't like as sweet as I would have expected. It wasn't like a raw honey. It was like a, I don't know. I guess a cooked honey. I don't know. Either. It, it almost had like a, a burnt, you know, pan browned taste. Like yeah. if you melt butter and you cook it too long and it becomes browned butter it's almost like it was browned honey and it just i mean it looked all right but it just wasn't for me like i'd much prefer kfc's honey sauce packets which aren't pure honey it's honey and corn syrup um yeah. so maybe if they add a little bit of corn syrup to that honey and kind of mellowed out whatever that yeah. flavor was maybe i'd like it better when I was a kid, my mom would use molasses and corn syrup that it and put on a, biscuits. Yeah. And would, she'd even add peanut butter to it from time to time. Yeah, but, it, it had a much darker color than what I was expecting. Yeah, it um, looked like molasses. I know it said honey, but... I mean, I know that you can get honey that has hints of different flavors in it mm -hmm. based on where the pollen is being processed. Like uh, a very popular type of honey is clover honey which has a distinct clover yeah. fragrance to it. Um, lavender honey has a distinct lavender fragrance to it. Um, my favorite kind of honey is fireweed honey, which you can find in Alaska, but you cannot find down here in the South. I need to order some. We can order uh, it. But, yeah, that just, it wasn't my favorite honey. And I'm really glad that I didn't accidentally use that on the chicken, thinking I might try to, like, do some honey and hot sauce or something. But it was pretty good. Yeah. So I had the pork chops, like I've shown. And they were good to me. I mean, I, I enjoyed them. They were thin. 
Um, but I think that's because they cook them to order. They don't have them cooked up and laying around getting hard, you know. Pork chops can get pretty hard. Yeah. Well, and, and the breading itself wasn't really thick. No, no, it, it wasn't. It still had bone on it, so. Yeah, which I, I think is the best way to eat a pork chop. Yeah. you got to have that bone. And um, anyway, the potatoes and gravy were good. Um, of course, that's my favorite thing. Like I said earlier, absolute favorite thing on the menu is the potatoes and gravy because that gravy, you can tell somebody made that in an iron skillet in, in their mama's kitchen. To me, <laughs> all, all of the sides are fantastic. And really they have good. some premium sides, one of which is almost more of a dessert. They have a sweet potato casserole. But yeah, that's, uh, yeah, the. Which we, the, we didn't get sweet, today. Yeah, the sweet potato casserole we've had before was really yeah. good, but I just wanted those potatoes and gravy. <laughs> and I was wanting but. the. The turnip greens. Yeah, and I ordered the I macaroni like and the, cheese, but I also like didn't the okra. Care for this time. I liked their baked beans. Yeah. Um, their mean, sides you, are really, like yeah. you said, they're really good. You can't go wrong with any of their sides. They're yeah. all great. So, um, I don't like a, we were talking, I don't know if it's a chain restaurant everywhere. I'm sure they have one in Memphis. Yeah. Uh, but, um, you know, if you got one close to you. Definitely give it a try. Give it a try because uh, it's, it's worth the trip. And it, you should also know that they do have family meals. Yes. They have like an eight piece that's like thirty something dollars, and they had a twelve piece which was like forty two, forty four, comparable to KFC prices. Right. You can go online and get all their menu information. Yeah. Um, you know, it's all on there. What they have, what the price of everything, and it's worth a shot. Just to, you know, give it a try. We enjoyed it. Yeah. So thanks for watching, everybody. Thank you very much. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Give thumbs it a up. thumbs up. That's Allie's favorite words. What's your favorite words? Give it a thumbs up. She's not happy right now. So anyway, um, if you you know if you haven't subscribed to us, give it a shot. I mean, we're just enjoying doing what we do. And we'd like to have you come join us and be a part of our family. Thank you very much for watching.